making sound sound better. That's what THX Audio has been doing for years. And what have they done now? I'm Fred Fishkin, back with another Text Nation interview. And with us from THX is senior staff engineer, Andrew Mason. Thanks for joining us, Andrew. Good to be with you, Fred. First, maybe a little background for people who have seen the THX name all the time. And maybe they wonder exactly what that's all about, what you do. Sure. Yeah. So the, the company has its roots back in the, the early 1980s, uh, started by George Lucas, who, uh, upon seeing uh, the, the Empire Strikes Back, was, was dismayed at how the, the superb audio and video of, of his source content of his film wasn't being portrayed properly in these cinemas. Um, in one of the, the, the screening rooms that he was in, um, you know, the sound just didn't sound right. They ended up going behind the screen at one point and finding that one of the speakers wasn't even connected properly. Um, and and, and uh, the, the video wasn't up to snuff either. So um, he tasked one of his engineers, uh, Tomlinson Holman, to see if there were there were ways of creating standards for cinemas that would uh, portray his, 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 his films in, in the proper quality in the proper with the proper audio and video. Um, that was in the source content. Um, and, and, and the specifications that uh, Thomas and Holman, Holman put together um, ended up forming the backbone of a new spinoff company that uh, George called THX. Um, since then, um, we've been get, got involved with uh, certifying cinemas um, and that evolved into then certifying home, cin- home cinemas, home theaters. Um, and then from there, um, one of the key elements of, of, of home cinemas is of course uh, the gear, the, the equipment that's being used. So we started uh, certifying equipment for home theaters, um, speakers, AVRs, um, projectors, uh, and, and uh, TVs as well. Um, and then from there, um, THX has always had uh, uh, technology within its backbone. Um, the, uh, the, the early cinemas uh, required uh, crossover elements that didn't exist in order to implement the, the THX standard. And uh, so THX had to develop the, that hardware to facilitate that. Um, so since then, we've had a small uh, R&D group that's, that's, been, uh, um, that's been up and running and, and always uh, trying, to, trying to attack the bleeding edge of, of what's possible in terms of bet- creating better audio and video experiences. And now you have something that uh, you're calling the THX Onyx. Tell us about this. It's a really small device. That's right. Um, this, we're, we're stepping back into the hardware ring. Um, this is our first hardware product since the 1990s when the, those crossovers I mentioned were discontinued. Um, the THX Onyx is a, uh, it's a small uh, dongle form factor. It's a USB uh, DAC amp. So it contains a, a digital to analog converter and a uh, headphone amplifier. And so at the one end, there's a, a USB, a USB-C plug. So you can plug it into any USB-C uh, supporting device such as an Android phone, um, a laptop, whether it's a Mac or uh, or a PC, um, and or using the Apple adapter, you can plug it into your iPhone as well. And at the other end, that's where the 3.5 jack is. You can plug in any 3.5 millimeter headphones uh, or headset. Um, Onyx supports a microphone feature as well. And what does it do? So Onyx uh, does a couple of things. Uh, the first thing it does, it, it, the, the DAC stands for Digital to Analog Converter. It takes the digital audio out of your device. Um, in, in many cases, that's a high quality, uncompressed audio stream. Converts it into the analog world, which is the first step of getting it ready to play over your headphones. And it does that in a very, very high quality manner um, with, with extremely low noise and, and extremely low distortion. Um, the next stage in the, in the analog chain within Onyx is our AAA amplifier. Um, that takes the analog signal out of the DAC and enhances the voltage and the current, in other words, the power um, in that signal, and then uses that power to drive the headphones and produce the audio that you hear out of the headphones. So it's really two products in one. It's the digital to analog converter and the headphone amplifier all in one product. And the difference is, is pretty dramatic for people who they, they might even be, you know, whoa, be taken aback when they plug it in and plug their headphones in. So describe for us what happens to this signal that, that gives you that kind of effect. You bet. So the first thing that most people uh, comment on is like, wow, it's, 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 it's very loud. And that's followed up by, but it's so clear. 
Um, so um, with Onyx, uh, we, we've used a very, very powerful AAA amplifier inside of it, a AAA 78 model. Um, that amplifier has a very, very high, high output power capability. It can drive 180 milliwatts per channel uh, into uh, as down as low as 22 ohms loads, uh, headphone loads. Um, and it can swing high output voltage as well. What that really translates to is it can, uh, it can give you power that you would normally associate with, how, with a dedicated standalone uh, desktop amplifier, like a big box on your desktop. That kind of headphone amplifier power, but now in a, in a very, very small portable product. Uh, what can you do with that power? You can, you can drive headphones that you would normally only associate with the studio environment. You can drive those headphones and take them with you on the go. Um, we're talking high impedance models from, from companies like Aerodynamics and Sennheiser. Uh, Onyx can drive those to satisfyingly, uh, satisfying SPL levels. Uh, we're also talking about um, planar magnetic headphones, headphones that are um, high quality, but, but low sensitivity. They need a lot of volts, a lot of power to drive them and to, and, and to get a satisfying SPL out of them. Onyx can drive those as well. And the other thing about Onyx, it's got a, it's got a very, very low noise floor. So with that, what you can do is you can, you can plug in very sensitive headphones like your IEMs um, and, and, and still have a very, very unnoticeable, very, very low noise floor. Um, whereas some traditional powerful amplifiers, um, they also have, have a high noise floor so they can't be used with IEMs. Onyx, is, Onyx can drive your entire suite of headphones. That's one of the nice things about it. What are the differences that uh, users would, would experience between using this on an Android device, a notebook, and, or an iPhone? Sure. Um, the uh, Onyx is, is uh, th those platforms support Onyx very well um, for the most part. Um, three of the platforms Onyx can plug in directly. Um, that's uh, you know, PC through the USB-C port, um, Mac through a Thunderbolt port, which is the same form factor as USB-C. And then uh, the Android phone, of course, would have a USB-C port as well. Um, Onyx can also plug directly into the USB-C port on your, your iPad Pro. And, uh, and then for, for the iPhone with, with lightning ports, um, we make use of, we recommend Ant Apple's standard uh, slim form factor adapter, which converts between uh, Lightning and USB-C uh, to facilitate Onyx. Um, what can you expect in terms of, of uh, experience and sound quality among, across these platforms? Um, we have a, a table that shows which, and I can link that to you later, uh, which shows uh, compatibility of, of various software apps with Onyx across the platforms. Uh, for example, Apple Music gives a really great experience for, for people who are using um, iPhone or Mac. Um, Apple Music now has Apple Music Lossless, which, which is a, a nice free feature to subscribers. Um, they stream very high quality audio. It's, it's all 24 bit and it's uh, from 44.1 up to 192 kilohertz sample rate. So this is like CD quality or better in all cases. Um, Apple is now streaming this uncompressed and Onyx can decode that properly and, and, and render that properly um, with bit perfect, perfect playback. Um, now, Apple Music Lossless is not available yet on PC or Android, um, but PC or Android users have a, a couple of good options as well. Um, there's Tidal, which is, which is a, a, an app that streams um, their flavor of, of high quality uncompressed audio. Um, MQA is the standard that they use. Onyx will, will, uh, has a built-in MQA uh, decoder and renderer, so it can, it'll take the, um, the, the partially unfolded um, MQA audio from Tidal and then properly render it in, in, in a way that, that satisfies the MQA criteria. And Onyx reflects that. Uh, by the way, Onyx reflects the LED color shows what uh, form factor the audio is that Onyx is rendering at any moment. So for MQA audio decoding and rendering, it will show magenta LEDs. Um, PC and Android users also have another good option. Uh, if they don't like MQA, um, Amazon Music HD is now streaming high quality PCM uncompressed music, uh, CD quality or higher. Um, Onyx will render that properly as well uh, with bit perfect playback. And uh, so there's a, there's a wide catalog of, of, of music there on, on Amazon Music HD. And Onyx, when it's rendering that at, at, at higher than CD quality, it will reflect that with, with gold LEDs on the product. 
so there's a variety of, of, of different uh, software available on these, these different um, uh, platforms. Um, and the things I've mentioned are just for streaming. Um, if you have local file playback, um, Onyx supports that too with a variety of, of players, um, Audiovana, uh, Fubar 2000, um, the list goes on and on and Onyx is, is universally supported. You certainly can hear the difference. There is no separate power supply or battery in this. So how much of a hit, if, is it noticeable? Is it gonna have on my battery life on my mobile device? Yeah, that's a good point. Um, Onyx does draw its power from the five volt uh, USB-C port of, of the device. Um, so um, for, for most, for, for laptops and, and, and desktop computers, it's, it's a non-issue, it's a negligible power draw. Uh, for portable devices like phones, um, nothing comes for free. So Onyx will draw some power um, and it will impact your battery life by, by a few hours versus not running the Onyx, of course. Um, but it's, it's still, you know, you know, we're talking about, uh, we're still having, you know, eight, 12 plus hours of, of, of listening at very, very high volume. It's, it's not a, a massive draw on power. Um, as it turns out, um, within the power budget of THX Onyx, um, the AAA amplifier is so efficient that the amplifier itself only consumes one third of the power going into the device. Uh, two thirds of the power is actually going into the very, very high quality digital to analog converter in the product. Um, this is a converter that's uh, uh, been optimized for, for, for the highest quality conversion. And because of that, there's a bit of, a bit of power consumption associated with that. But, uh, but that's, uh, that's the way, uh, the way of, of, of high quality audio world. Um, we're constantly striving to, to drive that power consumption down, um, but uh, it, it will never be zero, of course. Of course, this is uh, designed primarily for, for music, but a lot of people are watching movies on their iPads and, and laptops and such. So I guess the experience might be noticeable there as well. Back to, back to the THX roots. Absolutely. Um, have you ever been on that noisy airplane and you're struggling to, to hear the, the faint dialogue sequence in a movie? I, I think most of us have been there um, or been, been on a noisy commute, uh, public transit or walking on the sidewalk we're trying to listen to dialogue uh, on a podcast or in a movie and you just can't hear it and there's no more volume up settings on the volume dial. Um, Onyx with its high open power and high resolution um, can really help to, to, to resolve those scenes and, and make them more audible. Um, it's got a super high dynamic range so then you'll be able to, to listen to those scenes at high volume without hearing the, the, the hiss of a noise floor uh, jumping up at you and making things annoying. So um, it really enhances, like you mentioned, the, the, the movie experience, uh, watching TV shows or films, through, whether it's through Netflix or local to your device. Um, yes, it's not just about music. And the other application that, that people are listening, are using it for is, is gaming. Uh, gamers, the world of gaming and the world of high quality audio are starting to converge. Gamers are starting to realize um, that there are a number of advantages in that space. Um, for example, gamers are, are often trying to stalk their enemies through a, a quiet environment in a first-person shooter game. And uh, you know they need to be able to resolve uh, distant footsteps or faint movements of the enemy and to be able to, to, to hear those above the noise floor first and foremost, and then to identify and locate where those, where those uh, enemies are. So they need, we're talking about extremely high dynamic range is required there, um, as well as just high output power, high SPL. Um, they need to be listening to things at, at quite a high level. So gaming, music, uh, movies, uh, and podcasts, a number of applications for Onyx that we're seeing. People would not necessarily want to plug uh, speakers into this though, right? Not speakers directly, but you, if you have a pair of, of powered speakers, uh, such as what's found at many desktops, uh, these are speakers that have their own power spine amplifier built in. Onyx Connect is a very high quality digital to analog converter for a set of speakers like that. Um, for example, you know, rather than connecting an analog out from your, uh, your PC or your, your, your motherboard to, to these speakers, you would use Onyx and then take the analog out of that, uh, plug it into these speakers and you'd experience lower noise and, and, and better signal to noise ratio. Um, as well, as well as uh, just lower distortion, digital to analog, analog conversion. And the nice uh, 
the side benefit of, the, of that is you can also uh, render MQA with that approach, whereas uh, uh, the, the sound card with, with most PCs is not capable of rendering MQA. Very, very versatile. So tell us about pricing and availability. Great, so Onyx is, is, is on sale right now for $199 US. Uh, it's also 199 euros. Um, it's exclusively for sale right now with our e-commerce partner uh, at Razer, Razer.com. That's R-A-Z-E-R.com. Um, we'll be rolling that out to, to more distributors um, uh, as we proceed forward. But uh, for the moment, that, that's where it can be purchased. And for more info, where can people go? Yep. I invite you to come and, and check us out at THX.com uh, slash Onyx. Uh, to find out more. And uh, we have a great uh, support page there. We can learn more about the product, um, how to use it, learn how to use it with your device, whether it's iPhone, Android, PC, or Mac, and also learn how to use it with your favorite application, whether it's Apple Music Lossless, Amazon Music HD, Tidal with MQA. Um, we have a number of setup detailed setup guides to help people uh, get their, their software up and running and to, to ensure that bit perfect playback, the highest quality playback. Again, it's thx.com slash onyx, O-N-Y-X. Congratulations on the innovation. And Andrew Mason, thank you for taking the time with us. Great. Thank you, Fred. <laughs>